If Egypt's military rulers thought that introducing a new prime minister would appease the thousands gathered in Tahrir, they were wrong. The crowds gathered here remained defiant. When the word reached Tahrir that this man, Kamal al ganzuri once known as the Prime Minister of the Poor, is likely to form the next government, chants of Mish'awzino, Mish'awzino, we don't want him, we don't want him, erupted almost as soon as the news broke. Aside from not wanting the military to rule the country any longer, many of those camped in Tahrir don't want another Mubarak era official in government. Oh my God, what bad news. Will we never end with the old guard? They immediately go for 70 and 80 year olds. And the youth, they have no chance at all. We are standing here and so many people have died so that in the end we get Kamal Gansuri. It's bad news. But some believe Gonzuri has the making of an acceptable candidate. He served as Prime Minister in the late 1990s before being sidelined. Some in Egypt believe he was even put under house arrest by former President Hosni Mubarak because of his attempts to change things for the better. He is a man with a good reputation and he served the country. He was oppressed by the previous regime. So I think he will serve us and stand with us and help us. But at the same time, if anything bad happens, the people will gather here at the square. As this latest episode between the country's military rulers and pro-democracy protesters unfolds, Tahrir remains on lockdown. And with another million man march set to take place, it would appear that it is the protesters who have the momentum.